Very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the Let There Be Light program. It's a pleasure to be here and bring to you the good news of faith, the good news of the Word of God. Perhaps you wake up, wake up this morning with many wrong ideas uh, in your mind, negative thoughts, feeling bad, feeling down, feeling lost, feeling lonely, and you don't know exactly how your day will be. Or perhaps you know, perhaps you say, my day, today, it will not be good. Maybe you don't, you are not waiting for nothing good to happen to you. All the opposite. Well, I'm here to help you to change that. I'm here to help you to change that. And what, this is what you will do right now. You will, you will take, if you, if you can, you will take a, a, a glass with water now. I will give you a few moments for you to do that. And I want to pray with all of you right now. Okay, let's pray now. Let's present your day to God. Let's present, bring to Him, before Him, through this prayer, you will put before God your worries, your anxiety, your sadness, your fears, your doubts. You will put everything before God and the answer will come to you and your day will be a blessing. Your day will be blessed. Do you believe on that? So let's do that now. I'll give you a few moments. We'll play uh, a song, okay? And so you may have time to go to your kitchen, prepare that glass of water, and then return so we may pray and you may join us as well. Don't be afraid of the storms that rock your life. God will protect you Call on His name He swore to bless you And take away your pain And give you joy Don't be afraid Of the pain that breaks your heart No need to fear your trust in God He'll dry your tears No dream or problem is too big for Him The sun may no longer shine The moon may give up its light But His promise will remain until the end When we pray to God, we can receive strength, courage, faith, peace and anything we sincerely ask for. Take advantage of this moment, close your eyes, and raise your thoughts to God. It's time to pray. Dear Lord, we come to you now through this prayer because in the name of the Lord Jesus, we believe that you listen to our prayer, our voice, and we come to you to place before you all the worries, all the things that are making this person feel sad, downcasted, with doubts, um, maybe even discouraged to even to pray 
But right now, my Lord, each one of them, they mention what is happening to them. I don't know. I, I could say many things here, but they could not be exactly what they are going through. So each one of them, I hope, I hope that wherever they are, they are saying to you, meaning, saying, what is happening to them? Why they are so worried, so downcasted, so, so sad? Why, why, what do they fear? And my lords, what I do, what I ask is take all that, remove that from their minds. Please remove that from their hearts and bring to each one of these people, each one of them, the relief. Please do not allow their hearts to be burdened because they are saying what is happening to them. So I ask you in the name of Jesus, be that sadness or worries or fears or doubts, whatever, removed completely from their hearts, from their minds, and be this water consecrated to you. Because at the moment they drink this water, the moment they drink, may you, conf may you confirm the words of this prayer and bring to them the relief, the peace, the trust that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be right in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And those who believe and agree with this prayer, you may say, Amen. You may now drink the water. And after you do that, take a deep breath and feel the relief that comes from God. The sun may no longer shine, the moon may give up its light, but His promise will remain until the end. My God is not I remember when I went to kill myself and uh, tried to jump from the balcony. When my husband came back home, I told him he didn't believe in me. He told me I'm crazy. My childhood is, is not happy because I have a many arguments about my, my parents. And uh, my father is an alcoholic, and uh, he betrayed my mom is a lot of times. I don't have any reference in the the couples is a help couples. When I look at myself before, I don't like myself. I don't like my appearance. When I was 13, 14 years old, I met the the man with 10 years more than me because I want to show I'm attractive to them because I want to feel the the void that I have inside. When I was living to Brazil, when I was 21, 22 years old, I decided to move to Portugal. I leave my job, I leave my parents, I leave it all for start the new, the new journey. When I went to Portugal, uh, I think and I find the, the job that I want, that I make my better life, but it's not what uh, I face in there. I face depression because I don't find the job that I want. I don't have my siblings, my parents. That's why I start to depress. My depression become worse when my sister's boyfriend kill her because she, she wants to break the relationship. And after that, my father become uh, sick and they died after two years. I met my wife uh, in, the, in some like parties up there in the, in the community. I start to see her, first time I just look for her, I start to know her better because it's quiet. And I start to speak with her slowly, slowly. One year, start dating, and after a few months, we married. And after one year, 
I become pregnant. Pregnant have a complication after three months and I lost my baby. After one year, they lost my baby, I get it again, another baby. During the time when I'm pregnant, my mom becomes sick. I tried to go to, to Brazil, but it's not a way because I have a risk of my pregnancy. And I stay there. After my, my, my baby's uh, one month, and I trade the paper, the passport for my son to travel to Brazil because my mom is very sick. When I, I get my son's passport for travel to Brazil, she died the same day. That's why my depression became worse. Passing my mind all the time. I lost my sister, I lost my father, I lost my mother. That's why I want to kill myself and my son too. Uh, something stopped me. I don't have courage to take the action. When my husband come back home and I tell him about what happened, he says, you were crazy. And at that time, I, I, know, I don't know exactly where is depression and start ask myself, What's happened? Not speak with me and just shouting me and create this my fault for this, for fault for that. Just bad behavior with me and my son. One day, um, I come home, I come from work and he start uh, shouting me again and crying. That's the point in that telling him I don't want to live with him anymore. He looked in my eyes and he said, "I don't marry to divorce. I need to find the hope. I don't, couldn't sleep." At night, I need to take tablet. I see shadow, I hear voice and again, too much stress in my home. And then my friend invited me to come to Universal Church. I moved with my family to UK. I started to attend the service in Universal Church. And they start coming to Sundays, Wednesday, and the last, I start to come on Fridays too. That's why I fight for my delivery. I see the change in my life. I see the change inside of me. In that time, my husband started to attend the service with me because he see me the change. But something missing. The pastor telling me that I need to, to have the Holy Spirit. And I saw the many testimonies, the people that changed their life, the total transformation, and said, I want this for my life. Too. The company of faith is coming and I decide to go to the altar and they make the covenant with God. And I give my entire life to God because you want to come and live inside of me. After I receive the Holy Spirit, I feel peace. I have assurance, 100% assurance, that He is with me wherever you go, all the time, until the end. As soon as my wife uh, received the Holy Spirit, I, I, I see her uh, change a lot. Now is express herself, enjoy, is happy. After I received the Holy Spirit, my family is united now. I have my family in the presence of God. I have assurance of the future because God is in my future. If I have the, the, the Holy Spirit, I go through many challenges. I have the big challenge with my, my husband because I don't have the time to stay together. I work in different jobs. He's working a lot. He don't have time even for the kids. I don't have time to stay together. I come to, to God and say, how can I prove the part of my life for my love life? And going again to the water and make the vow like Hannah, Hannah did. He starts to fight against the situation with God's hands. After my wife started praying about you know, your marriage because this, I had this situation, he helped me because I need help that time, because I work too much hard because I don't have no one to help me. When I was praying and uh, asking God for the, the answer, I start to read my Bible more and pray more, and then God answered to me. And now I work together with my husband. Now you have a time to spend with the kids, you have a time to stay together, you talk in every day, all the time. Now you have a challenge, but all the challenges you overcome it together. That's why the unity you have my family now. Thank you for, my, my, um, for God giving us wisdom for stay united. And now my life is completely changed, transformed. Thanks to the Holy Spirit, because without Him, I can do nothing.
The same way that Andrea's life changed, your life can change as well. I know all the changes that she saw happening to her is thanks to her faith, the faith that she placed in the word of God and because she allowed the spirit of God to come upon her and guide her and teach her what she needed to do in order for her to be the woman that she is today. And that's what you need. You know, instead of uh, following other people, or, uh, the, the, I would say the searching in people, what they, uh, what they have to advise you, what they can um, teach you or follow their example. You should follow the example of the, what is written in the word of God. If you really want to change your situation, if you really want to change your life, it's time, it's time for you to allow God to help you to overcome that situation. Because let's be honest, let's be honest. When things, they are complicated in the life of a person, no one is, no one can help you. No one will be able to do that. Actually, sometimes people, they run away from you. When things are going okay, people are close to you. They call you friend. But when things, they go bad in your life, they just, they don't care about you. They even, uh, they, they even block you from their social media. They don't answer your phone calls anymore because they don't want to deal with your problems. They have their own problems. So they don't want to listen to you asking for favors or, uh, you know, like going and talking about your, 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 your situation, your sadness, the issues that you have and this and that. They have their own problems. They don't care about yours. The only one who will be willing to listen to you is God. Only him wants to make your problem his problem to help you to overcome that and God is you God will use us pastors to do that with you for you to help you with that to pray with you to listen to you the doors of the church are open every single day every day Monday to Sunday we open the church around 6 30 a.m. and the doors don't close until around 9.30 p.m. The whole day the doors are open. Anytime that you come, you will find a man of God in the house of God willing to talk to you, to counsel, to pray for you, to show the way out, to help you to believe. Maybe you don't believe anymore. You are so overwhelmed with so many, so many worries, so many suffering, so many pain that you... You think that you have lost your faith. You used to be a person of faith. You used to go to a church. But, so, but for some reason, you have stopped. And now you look to yourself and you barely can, you can barely recognize who you used to be. You, you, you lack peace. You can't sleep well at night anymore. You wake up in the morning already crying, upset it, uh, with anger, you look to yourself to, to the mirror and you don't recognize yourself. You don't. Your face is, I would say, transformed. That's how you see yourself, transformed. You, you have sad eyes. You have a sad expression in your face all the time. No matter how much makeup you, you, you put on, well, you have that sad face, those sad eyes. There is no makeup that can give you uh, uh, um, happy eyes uh, or put a smile in your face. You can look pretty. People can look to you and say, wow, you, you look nice. You are, you are beautiful. You may have a beautiful face, but it's a sad face, right? People, they can even praise, you no, know, like your, your dress, the way you dress, your body, your face, your car, your house, your job. But 
you are unhappy. So if you want to change that, my friends, if you really want to change that, well, you have the opportunity to come today. Today, we'll have the, a, a service at 10 a.m. and then the next one at 3 p.m. and then the last one, 7.30 p.m. I'll be here waiting for you in our branch in Liverpool, 153 Northumberland Street. This is where our church is located, at 153 Northumberland Street, in the heart of the city, close to the Westfield Shopping Center. You can go as well to our branch in Blacktown, or Chatswood, or Dandenong, or Footscray, or Brisbane. From where you are watching us, there is, uh, if you live in one of these locations or close to any one of them, well, you may go there. The addresses, if you do not know them, you can find the address at, on our website, uckg.org.au. At any given moment, everything in life needs to stop in order to be recharged and refueled. You can either do that or the device will be of no use to you. What is the point of running back and forth, going after your goals non-stop, but becoming weaker and emptier? Maybe you have been living like this, spiritually on the edge. The Faith School is the mandatory midweek hit stop. It is for you to recharge your strength so you can face your battles refueled and strengthened with the Word of God. When the Word enters you, this is what happens. Stop, think and invest in your spiritual growth. This Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. 153 Northumberland Street, Liverpool 2170. Remember to bring your Bible. Last year I had a terrible infection, cellulitis infection on my leg, and it wasn't healing for three months. The doctors were giving me so many antibiotics, and I was on antibiotics at one stage for four months, and it still wasn't healing. I used the holy oil with faith every day. I could see the improvement. After applying the oil, within a week I was completely healed and the doctors were shocked to see what happened because they were planning to amputate my leg. No more cellulitis, now I'm dancing. <laughs> and of course, before we, find, we end our program, reminding you about this so special day, 8th of September, when you shall receive a small bottle like this with the blessed oil. And as we have been saying, the blessed oil is the symbol of the Spirit of God. So imagine what that Spirit can help you to achieve in your life. Because the moment that you receive the oil and you use that oil with faith, in the Word of God, imagine what uh, I would say you will, you will have in your hands the power to transform, to change any situation because it will be not your human capacity, but the power that comes from above. So don't miss that day because it's a one time, one time event, only one day, every year, we choose one day to give the blessed oil. This year will be on the 8th of September, a Sunday morning at 10 a.m. in all our UCKG branches. If you want, you can reserve your bottle with oil, scanning the QR code that you see there on your screen, or you can call us or send us a message to our uh, helpline number, okay? Well, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to bring your Bible today 
uh, for the Bible, Bible study. Okay, don't forget to bring your Bible. And today as well, we will have the Lord's Supper in all our UCKG branches today, Wednesday. So don't miss for nothing because it will be, in fact, indeed, a very special Wednesday for all of us. Have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow.